I think you hit on it a few times. I mean, you brought it up with every athlete you just mentioned. It's adaptability. They were doing different things at the end of their careers than they were at the beginning, but they're performing at the same level. They've adapted to their age. They've adapted to their athleticism. They've adapted the level. You know, you can't be 50, you know, you've seen these videos on Instagram or other things, people lifting inappropriately and injuring themselves. And they're like in their young, you know, early 50, early teens, late twenties, you know, those guys aren't doing that. You know, they're not just going up and lifting as much weight as possible. They're doing everything in their possibility to try to maximize their athletic ability, but in a different way. You know, we've seen the evolution of fitness, right? It was before it used to be sort of all out, you know, constantly lift, 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 heavy weights, protein, protein, creatine, you name it, to the point now where it's like lean muscle mass, high intensity interval training, plyometrics with a combination of yoga, flexibility, aquatics training, you know, those things are all really important and constantly keeping your body, you know, you want the things that are in, are in bad shape to get a break and you want the things that are in good shape to take the brunt and be able to get, um, you know, be able to get more exercise in those areas. And so I think that's really important for these athletes and that's really the major thing. And then, you know, I think it's time for us to kind of jump into the next topics. You know, I think we've talked about this before and you guys can see on our previous podcasts earlier on, you know, the aging athlete, at least from that standpoint, from the professional athletes important, but what about the recreation athletes? What about the technology coming out? You know, this is really important. 